Hi everyone, I am student Dr. Thompson and today I'm going to show you um, an application review of day one. It's a journal app and if you watch my previous video I go into the five reasons why medical students should keep a journal. I highly recommend watching that and then come back to this one and check this out. So I'm going to be showing you day one on the computer. I'll show you it on the iPad and I'll show it to you on the iPhone. Um, I think it works for all smartphones and for all computers, but I'm not exactly sure um, if that's all the way out yet. So anyway, here's day one. Um, the good thing is that um, this is the best journal app I've found. The good thing is that up here in this um, toolbar, clear up at the top, you can click on a little bookmark. The bookmark allows you to make a journal entry from any application um, on your computer. So you can be surfing the internet, make a journal application, typing notes, whatever. So I really like that. But let's just open it the traditional way. I password protected mine just cuz. Um, so this is what it looks like when you open it up. It's ready for you to type uh, a journal entry. And you can add photos to it. Um, you can also tag your location. You can add the weather. A lot of these things are automatically added on the iPad version. Um, so if you were to click the plus here, it would allow you to make a new journal entry. This menu here shows you all of your journal entries that you've made. Okay, And then the calendar um, tab over here allows you to kind of see your progress. Okay, so I did pretty good uh, this week, but I didn't do so well this week, you know? Um, so that's just kind of how the navigation system works. I really like it because you can quickly navigate between years. Um, you know, you can, you can go um, to previous journal entries really quickly, really easily. Let's go check out the iPad version now. All right, uh, let's now look and see what day one looks like on the iPad. So we're going to day one. It's password protected. Um, and this is essentially what it looks like. Over here on the right-hand side, this is a journal entry. Um, you can throw pictures in there. You can see down here, um, it obviously saves the time, the date, uh, the weather, and your location. That's just uh, like an automatic tag. Over here on the... Um, left-hand side up on the top you can hit the plus button for a, a new entry and one thing that I like about the new entry uh, or uh, that I like about this is that you can add tags so you can hashtag certain things um, you know if this was like uh, a test day or something so then when you go back and you search test day even if you didn't say it in your journal entry it's going to filter this one up to the top um, Okay, so on the left-hand side, the thing that I really like about day one is that you can easily navigate and read old um, entries, okay? So this is just a timeline. This is what happens, you know, like the immediate past. Um, you can search by photos, too, which I, you know, I put a ton of photos in mine uh, for my family purposes. You can search by tags, which you can see I only have three tags here. Um, I don't do a lot of tags. But uh, you can also search by years. So year after year, so I'm a first-year student in 2013. Well, 2016, I might want to look back and see what I did exactly three years, you know, two years earlier or something. Um, so, so that's kind of the benefit of this navigation system. I love it for the iPad. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and check out day one on the iPhone. I apologize for the red banner up top. I'm recording my audio as we speak. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Again, you have to type in the passcode, and it pulls up a more limited view than what was on the um, what, what was on the iPad, obviously because of screen real estate. So you can go back to the timeline. You can view everything just like on the iPad. And again, everything syncs. It's really awesome. You can do all the features that are on the iPad with just a smaller screen. Okay. So guys, in conclusion, um, I have tested a few other applications for journaling, none of which were cross-platform. So we have the iPad, we have the iPhone, and we have the computer. So that's the main reason why I love this app. Um, I can put a journal entry in almost anywhere. Um, I always have my phone on me, so I can, I can do it then. And that's usually when I have... Um, 
you know, I'm in a keynote address or I, I've just talked to someone that I felt like made a really big impression on me and I want to remember what they said, I write it down in my journal. I also take a lot of pictures, throw those into my journal. You saw I have pictures of my family. Uh, if you have any questions about day one, um, don't hesitate to ask and I would love to, um, to convert you guys all to journaling uh, with day one. Thanks for watching.